this is great. I get you back again. You're going to teach me some more great things about this machine. You bet. So this time I want to show you how you use that end point with your decorative stitches. Decorative stitches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So first on the screen of the machine, you have to touch that icon over there that says character and decorative stitches. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it asks you, it's not going to delete the stitch out of the machine. It's just asking you, are you sure you're done stitching this stitch? So you just say okay. One. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now look at that. The folders. Yes. Numbered folders. <laughs> that means if I tell somebody to go to stitch 8003, they know what they I'm know talking about. They know which one about. is 8. Oh, exactly. Is not the second star on the right. right. Like in this. <laughs> okay. okay. So I would like you to go to 7, please. I can do that. And uh, just to make this a visual, so you understand what I'm trying to tell you, I would like you to select stitch 7-033. So it's on your next page. Three, three. So I have mm -hmm. to scroll through. Mm-hmm. Okay. There it is in the top row. Got it. All right. It's a simple little scallop. Mm -hmm. I did this on purpose for you. Because what you're <laughs> going to do now, yeah, well, I know. <laughs> you keep it easy. That's okay. okay. So what's going to happen is you're going to stitch on this fabric, and it's going to be stitching scallops. But when you get to the bottom here, you want to actually turn the corner, but you want a complete scallop. Right. Okay. So you're going to put your fabric in under the foot. And before we do that, look, it says it needs the foot end. Okay. So get your accessory tray. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, know you like I love doing that. <laughs> okay. So find the end foot, and it's labeled on your tray. End foot. Oh, gray on gray. Thank you it's for right the here. blind here. Okay. Now, okay. that's just a regular snap-on foot. They're pretty easy. So I think you're okay with it. Well, push the button in the I back. Am. You have to push the button in the back. And the J foot drops off. And it's you can either... It's always back on. Okay. So you can either push the foot up... That would be easier, wouldn't it? Well, sometimes it is. Sometimes I like to put the oh, foot down on the needle perfect. plate and just push my lower presser foot button. Okay. Okay. But so anyway, okay. you're good. So put your fabric underneath there just so that you have a place to start. And lower the presser foot so it holds it for you because I know you, you're going to let go. <laughs> so now okay, I, will. <laughs> I want you to get your so laser pen. So I'm going to line pen. up right on here? Uh-huh. Okay. Use laser your laser pen. pen. Touch the pen icon on the screen, mm -hmm. and now touch your ending point icon. There mm -hmm. you go. Now come on over here on your fabric and touch in the corner where you want it to actually turn. So for this particular pattern, you've used it before. So mm -hmm. about a half inch up. Yeah, it looks like good. I'm about that far from the sure. needle. How about right there? Perfect. Okay, now look at your screen. Notice the right side of that icon turned blue. Mm -hmm. That means it, you are successful to pick a spot where it will actually complete the pattern and stop. What if it didn't turn blue? Then you want to retouch or reconsider. Reconsider. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. So now, for chagrins, I want to make sure you have your pivot feature turned on. And you do. So I now do. you're just going to sew. Okay. And just trust it. Keep your foot on the gas pedal. Just go. Okay. And it will stop on you. So you can't make it go farther than it should. It's smarter than we are. It knows where it needs to stop. I need a machine that's smarter than I am. Okay, now just pivot your fabric Okay. and go. The foot lowers and goes, and you'll see that you have a completed pattern on either side of that turn. Now while you're stitching and you want to finish Oops. this, while you're pivoting... I'm not holding it straight. Just, go ahead. Just, okay, when you're stitching, keep mm -hmm. this button and depress it until the green light turns on. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to tie at the end of that pattern for you. So when you use the scissors on the machine or your foot pedal, it cuts the fabric, raises the foot, and your pattern is again completed, but this time it's tied off also. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. See? I like that. It's very cool for all sorts of things. Patterns, uh, placemats, tables, runners. If you're doing a decorative stitch on the cuff, you need to stop and start Pillow a certain... cases. Exactly. Okay. Okay, you know there's really wide decorative stitches in there for your sashing strips. Yes. Okay. I just want to show you where they are because a lot of okay. people get confused. You're going to um, delete this pattern out so we don't combine it with anything. Deletes right next to the icon for the sensor pen. Right next to the icon, right there. Okay, okay. now close this section so you can go to category six. Closes right here. I haven't, have you, can you tell I haven't been on the That's folders? Okay. So go to okay, six. Okay, six. And now instead of going forward to page 18 or 19, just go backwards by touching the up arrow a couple pages. One more. Oh, there are some big and There you go. Here. Those are really wide. And the way you know is when you select it, select any one of those of your choice, okay. 
Now look here, how it says 25%. Mm -hmm. That means it's not realistic view. This is 25% of the size it's going to be. So to see what size it really you have to will stitch, stitch it out, or no, can no, no, it, no. Will it tell you? You touch this icon right there. Now you can see it in realistic size. And this arrow shoots it over. So now if you would stitch it, put it right next to it, that's exactly what size it would be. So basically, my session would have to be as wide as that mm -hmm. area on the screen, which well, is and what, we about left two it at the inches? Side. Yeah, and we left it at default. You do have large and small, so if okay. your strip is a little narrower, you have another choice. Okay. And it's great for using, like, if you want to do it just down a side of one placemat. Or a pillowcase. Or a pillowcase okay. top, yeah. right. Or a curtain tie back, and put it down the center of a curtain tie back. You know, you keep trying to drag me into that whole home I deck know. thing. Well, okay. You know. That's one way to keep you from making me turn into a quilter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you want to close that screen if you're going to really stitch this out. And this one I like to use the laser guide. Okay. Just because it helps you keep it going straight. So whichever, put the touch the laser icon. I right. kind of like those tulips. Can I use that one instead? Well, sure. But then delete first so that the other one's not in there already. Delete oh, twice. So we have a combination stitch. Right. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Now you're good. Okay. So now I put the laser guide on, and all it's mm -hmm. going to do is help you to see that you have your fabric straight. Okay. The line's not going to move, so you just have to keep it parallel to your project. So if you're in a, okay, mm -hmm. I don't know how closely, you know, you can see this, mm -hmm. but this plaid is really off. Mm -hmm. So if I'm stitching, holding this parallel to the print, that means that it'll right. do this way. If I want it parallel to the edge, I have to hold this parallel yes, to the edge, correct? Right. And then you okay. also want to notice that on your screen, see how the stitch starts in relationship to the foot? Mm -hmm. That's how you know which side of that foot the, the actual stitching is going to happen. If it's going to stitch here and come this way of the pattern, or if it's going to go that way, oh, so okay. that if it was reversed, you'd know you'd have to move the fabric over so that you wouldn't run off the fabric with your stitch. Okay. Okay. So, you just go ahead and sew. Just sew. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is kind of freaky. Yeah, but see, you just watch this to this. Don't watch what's going on. Don't watch your needle. Just watch that your line is parallel to what you've decided to make it parallel with. Like you said, either the outside edge of the fabric right, or, or that plaid. the pattern. Mm -hmm. I'm either kind of one. going with the plaid. Okay. This may not have been the smartest idea in this case, but... But it works. Wow. It's just that easy. Do we have to sing the easy song? No. The It's So Easy no. song? I think I'm glad of that. Cool. And again, when you want to stop like this, you would, right, just stitch that now, let go of the button, and it will. Oh. Okay, go ahead and sew. Now push this once and let go, but keep sewing. Okay. And it's finishing the pattern and tying off for you. And then you do the scissors. Awesome. We just happened to do it very close at the end. Otherwise, it would have stitched for a while first, and then it would have stopped for you. Okay. We just happened to have stopped right close to the end of the pattern. Neat. Awesome.